I'm Gavin Steinman and this is On Shoulders TV. In this episode we'll be using a basic 3D printer to print a more advanced 3D printer. Before we get started, if you're unfamiliar with the RepRap project, it's a good idea to pause the video, go to RepRap.org, and study up on what RepRap means and the differences between a Darwin and a Mendel design. Because we're going to be using a bootstrapped Darwin to print a Mendel. And before we do this, I want to upgrade my extruder because my extruder is made out of Poplar MDF. It's big, it's bulky, it's slow, it's, it doesn't control the filament well. So I want to upgrade it by using this extruder that I printed recently. And two things I like about it, it's light, it's very light, so I should get a faster print, I should be able to move it faster. And also it has a geared drivetrain. So this should allow me to control the filament better and actually give a better print. So faster and a better print. So let's install it. Again, this episode is about taking a basic 3D printer and printing a more advanced 3D printer. But before we did this, we used this extruder to print a replacement. Now to me, this really showcases the power of the technology. We used something that was made, as you can see, out of Poplar and MDF. I made this with hand tools. We used this to print a replacement. Now that we have that replacement, we can use it faster, more accurate. Now that we have this replacement extruder, we can use it to print a completely new printer from the ground up. So let's get started. Okay, so a few weeks have passed and the mechanics are done and also the electronics are done. I was unable to film the electronic installation because I had a camera malfunction, but the electronics have been installed. I'm using Palalu stepper controllers and an Adreno Mega for the brain and I'm using the Opto end stops designed by Zach Hogan. So why don't we give you a demonstration? Yeah, so the, the axes are all working, and the only thing left is the extruder. So why don't we get started on that? Okay, I've made a few decisions around what type of extruder I want to use for my Mendel. I've decided to use Wade's drive mechanism. So I printed out the parts that I need for 
wage drive mechanism. And I've also put teeth in a bolt, like Wade demonstrates online. And I've also decided to use Adrian's design for the, the heated barrel. I have taken this to my lathe, and you can see the, the hot tip is made out of aluminum instead of copper like he's suggesting. That's just because I had it laying around. And I also have the PTFE thermal barrier. So you put it together, and you've got your hot tip. We've got another thermal barrier here. And then I'll put all of that on a piece of wood. And that'll be the heart of my extruder. I've also got some other random materials that you need when building an extruder. I've got some captain tape and some thermistors. And I've got some nichrome wire to wrap the, the heater. And I've also got, uh, after the, the nichrome wire goes on, I've also got some ceramic tape to be a further insulator and a stepper. It'll be stepper driven, like Wade's design. And I've got some bearings. And that's, that's everything you need. So I'm going to put it together. OK. The extruder is done. I've put it all together. And I've also wired the heater mechanism and the drive mechanism to the electronics. I'll be able to control it through the firmware. And I'll be able to control it through the software. So before I put this extruder on the Mendel, I want to get some confidence around the fact that it's extruding well and that I won't have to take it off. So I have some plastic here. And I am going to, this is PLA plastic. And I'm going to feed this into the machine. Okay, now let's turn the extruder on. Okay, now you can see it's heating up for the first time. And it's causing quite a bit of smoke. And it says it's to temperature already. And you can see it's starting to come out. Wow. So you can see it's it's working. So let's install it. Okay. We've installed the extruder. We verified that the dimensions of the axes are correct, that they're, they're stepping at the right rate. And we've also leveled the bed. So we are ready to print. So let's kick it off.